Glory be to the Father, and to, to the, the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was, was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, Lord of our Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. I am with your Spirit. My brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the Feast of St. Catherine of Siena, a great saint and uh, one of the doctors of the Church. As we begin our celebration, we are mindful of our sinfulness. Let us now ask the Lord for his mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God, God and you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, and sisters that I have Lord, greatly sinned. sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, O Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who set St. Catherine of Siena on fire with divine love, in her contemplation of the Lord's passion and her service of your church, grant through her intercession that your people, participating in the mystery of Christ, may ever exult in the revelation of his glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There broke out a severe persecution of the church in Jerusalem, and all were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles, devout men buried Stephen, and made a loud lament over him. Saul, meanwhile, was trying to destroy the church, entering house after house and dragging out men and women, he handed them over for imprisonment. Now those who had been scattered went about preaching the word. Thus Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip. When they heard it and saw his, the signs he was doing, for unclean spirits crying out in a loud voice came out of many possessed people and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response is, let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all, all the, the earth cry, cry out, out to God, God with, with joy. joy. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let and all the earth, earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the all earth, earth cry out, out to God with joy. joy. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might power forever. Let all, all the, the earth, earth cry, cry out to God, God with, with joy. joy. Alleluia, Alleluia. Everyone who believes in the Son has eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. 
Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me. Because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Strange. My mind was thinking as we were saying the responsorial song that all the earth is uh, crying out loud with joy because <laughs> Father Joy is here praying with us. Um, in our first reading, the church continues to be persecuted um, merely for being. Uh, what it was called to be, merely for proclaiming the truth of Christ ro uh, risen from the dead. And this would continue for many, many years, for centuries, until finally the truth would dawn on people that uh, these individuals who were suffering and giving their life and proclaiming the good news were still joyful in the midst of all of that, that they were still gathering and celebrating uh, the sacraments as they understood Christ to have given it to them, given them to, to them, to the church. They were continuing to um, profess the faith in spite of all of this because they understood that was the way to eternal life. That's what Jesus is telling us in our gospel today. He, can, he says again, I am the bread of life. I am the bread come down from heaven. He says, whoever believes in him Whoever sees him, now that's interesting because whoever sees him will, will be saved. We say, well, how can we see him? He lived 2,000 years ago. Uh, but again, we have the most holy Eucharist. And we can see him when we adore the Eucharist, when we come in the presence of the Eucharist. And uh, then we see him. And because we believe, because our hearts are moved with uh, joy at seeing the Lord, that is our uh, ability to be uh, to be saved that is where our salvation and the promise of our resurrection comes from Jesus is saying uh, the father has told me I will not lose any of you who truly believe in other words there's no way that those who truly believe in in Jesus and continue to believe uh, in him up to the time of, of our departure from this earth. There's no way that the devil can pull us away from him or, or take us away from the promised inheritance of heaven and the resurrection that the Father gives us. We ourselves <coughs> can do that <coughs> Excuse me. only by our actions here on earth, by turning away from him completely in our sin, by embracing sin as our way of life or evil or, uh, you know, turning away completely from the commandments and the gospel message. That's how we lose salvation. But nobody can take it away from us if we embrace Christ, if we embrace the Father, if we embrace the Holy Spirit, and we participate in these life-giving sacraments, these moments of grace. And that's important for you all to remember, that this grace is coming to you, even though we're separated by distance and um, and hopefully that will be shortly remedied, but for now, there are still um, important um, graces that come from this participation in the Eucharist, as uh, strange and difficult as it is in these times. So, brothers and sisters, take heart in that, take heart in the Gospel. St. Catherine of Siena was one of those great saints that did that, one of the uh, beautiful saints. Uh, I often lament that uh, one of our Protestant churches uh, grabbed the name before we did, but actually our sponsorship uh, under the uh, St. Angela Ricci is beautiful in its own right. Uh, it's just that Siena, since it's Siena Plantation, but that's probably uh, kind of not, not a good reason for that. Um, 
so all the saints all of them and their witness to christ is what brings us closer to him as well we see their faith we see their joy in the promise of the resurrection and we know that it can be ours too if we simply embrace jesus and live the gospel <clears throat> Knowing that God, our Father, wills the best for all people, we come to him now with our needs and those of our neighbors. <clears throat> Knowing that for Catholic missionaries, may God give them strength and courage, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For judges and all who work in law enforcement, may God, the perfect judge, bless them with the gifts of wisdom, Justice and mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who bear the burdens of loneliness, infirmity, poverty, or lack of basic necessities, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the children in this community, may the Holy Spirit help them uh, grow in grace and knowledge of God's saving power. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, May Jesus accept them to himself and bring them everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now offer before the Lord our special prayers and intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. God of compassion, you will eternal life for all of your children here on earth. Listen to our prayers and grant what is best. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the saving sacrifice we offer in commemoration of St. Catherine, so that instructed by her teaching, we may give ever more fervent thanks to you, the one true God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves in Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence 
by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <coughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope Daniel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, blessed apostles, Saint Catherine of Siena, and all the saints who have praised you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirst with eternal in life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you were taken by the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you were taken by the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you were taken by the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, but only you say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the heavenly table at which we have been fed, O Lord, confer eternal life upon us, as even in this world it nourished the life of St. Catherine, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your life. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.